If you're looking to gain muscle, protein is a key nutrient that you need to focus on. Protein provides the building blocks for muscle growth, so it's important to make sure you're eating enough of it. In this video, we will discuss how much protein you should eat each day to help you reach your fitness goals. We'll also provide some tips on how to incorporate more protein into your diet. So if you're ready to start packing on the muscle, keep watching. Protein is one of the most important nutrients for our body. It helps us build and repair muscle, maintain a healthy weight, and keep our immune system functioning properly. Protein is also essential for growth and development in children and adolescents. In fact, protein accounts for a significant percentage of the daily caloric intake for adults, making it one of the three main macronutrients that we need to consume each day. Why is muscle gain important? There are many reasons why people want to gain muscle. Some people are looking for a way to lose fat and have more muscle mass, while others want more definition in their arms and legs. Either way, gaining muscle can help you accomplish these goals by increasing your metabolism, which burns calories, and building lean body mass, which gives the appearance of being thinner. Your body's muscle mass is going to affect the balance and coordination of your body. How can you gain muscle? In order to gain muscle, you need to do two things, eat enough protein and exercise regularly. Protein is the key nutrient that helps your muscles grow, so it's important to make sure you're getting enough of it in your diet. You don't need as much protein when you're not working out, but you should still make sure you're eating enough to meet your body's needs. When you're working out, you need to eat more protein so that your muscles can recover and grow bigger. In addition to eating enough protein, it's important to exercise regularly if you want to gain muscle. This doesn't mean you have to spend hours in the gym every day. A moderate amount of exercise, about 30 minutes per day, is enough for most people. You can do a variety of exercises to gain muscle, including resistance training, such as lifting weights, aerobic activity like running or biking, and calisthenics like push-ups and sit-ups. It's important not just to focus on one type of exercise, but to mix it up so that your muscles don't get used to the same routine. How much protein should you eat? So how much protein should you eat each day? The answer depends on a variety of factors, including your weight, age, and activity level. But as a general rule, most people need about 0.5 grams to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight each day. This means that if you weigh 150 pounds, you should eat a minimum of about 70 grams of protein each day. You can meet this goal by eating a variety of high-protein foods throughout the day. Some good sources of protein include meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, and legumes. Supplements to gain muscles. There are many supplements on the market today that claim to help you gain muscle, and some of the work. Some of the most effective ones include creatine, protein powders, and amino acids. You can also use these supplements in combination with other methods, such as resistance training or aerobic exercise. The key is to find what works best for your body and stick with it. Protein powders are actually very popular among bodybuilders and people who want to gain muscles. They're made from whey, casein, or soy protein and come in a variety of flavors like a chocolate milkshake flavor, strawberry milkshake flavor, etc. Creatine is an amino acid that has been shown to increase muscle mass when taken before workouts. It's usually combined with protein powders to help increase muscle growth. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and they play a vital role in muscle growth and repair. There are many different types of amino acids, and each one has its own unique benefits. When it comes to supplements, it's important to do your research and find out which one is best for your needs. Don't take any supplements without doing some research first, because supplements can be dangerous if not taken properly. How to track your progress. It can be difficult to know if you're making progress in your goal of gaining muscle, but there are a few ways you can track your progress. One way is by measuring the circumference of your arms and legs each week using a tape measure or string. Another option is to take a photo of yourself every few weeks to see how much you're changing over time. You can also keep track of what you eat. The important thing to note here is to know the protein content of each thing you eat. Foods you can eat to increase your muscle mass. Eggs are a great source of protein and can be eaten at any time during the day. They contain all nine essential amino acids, so they're considered complete proteins. Poultry is another good source of protein and contains all nine essential amino acids. It's also low in fat and calories, making it an excellent choice for people on a diet. Fish is a good source of protein and contains all nine essential amino foods to eat when trying to gain muscle mass or lose weight. Salmon, tuna, and sardines are some examples of fish that contain high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids which have been shown to help reduce inflammation in the body as well as lower cholesterol levels. Beans and legumes contain fiber and protein, 
making them a good choice for people who want to gain muscle mass or lose weight. They're also high in folate, a B vitamin, which helps prevent certain types of cancers like colon cancer. Milk is another great source of protein that contains all nine essential amino acids plus calcium for strong bones and teeth. It's also low in fat, making it an excellent choice for people on a diet. Greek yogurt has become popular recently because of its health benefits such as being high in protein while still having lower amounts of sugar slash fat than other dairy products like ice cream or cheese. Nuts are another food that contains all nine essential amino acids and is high in fiber, making them a good choice for people on a diet. They're also low in calories, so they won't add much weight if eaten regularly throughout the day instead of being just an occasional treat like candy bars would be when trying to gain muscle mass or lose weight. Whey protein is a type of protein that is derived from milk. It's one of the most popular supplements among bodybuilders because it contains all the essential amino acids and is low in fat and calories. Whey protein can be taken before, during, or after workouts to help increase muscle mass. Casein is another type of protein that comes from milk. It's slower to digest than whey but still provides all the essential amino acids needed by your body during rest periods. Casein is often taken at night before bedtime because it can slow digestion and provide a steady supply of nutrients while you sleep. Chicken breast is a good source of protein. It's low in fat and calories, making it an excellent food choice for people on a diet who want to gain muscle mass or lose weight. What happens if you eat more protein than what your body requires? If you eat more protein than what your body requires, the excess will be converted into fat or used as energy. Eating too much protein can also cause kidney problems if there isn't enough water in the diet to flush out toxins from ingesting large amounts of meat products such as red meats and organ meats. What happens if you don't eat enough protein? A lack of protein can lead to muscle wasting, which is when your body burns its own tissue, muscle, for energy instead of using the food you eat. This process leads to a loss in strength and physical performance as well as an increase in fatigue during exercise. Muscle wasting also increases the risk of injuries, since weak muscles are less able to support the body's weight and movements. Eating more protein-rich food will increase your metabolism rate so that you burn off calories faster than normal. This helps in weight loss because the body burns fat instead of muscle mass when there isn't enough protein in the diet. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.